In our daily lives, we see the word terrorism often. We see it on the news and on our phones. Today, we'll be focusing on one specific terrorist organization, the IRA, or the Provisional IRA to be precise. So, who are they? They're the, the Provisional Irish Republican Army, paramilitary organization which emerged in December 1969 by a division of the Republican movement when the IRA split into the official IRA and the provisional IRA. While the original IRA renounced to a violence and seek peaceful manners while their objectives, PIRA, stood out because of their violent operations. They're seen as the successors of the original IRA. Their, the, their provisional Irish Republican Army wanted to re remove Northern Ireland from the UK and then establish an independent republic. But to achieve those means, they decided to leave politics apart and use their weaponry instead. They were led by several leaders, in which the first was called Seen McStolfi, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, and the last was Tomas Murphy, who was also known as the Slab. The Provisional IRA is classified as a nationalistic terrorist organization since their goal was to create a separate and free nation. Their chaotic operations include bombings and assassinations. Although all the attacks focused in Northern, were focused in Northern Ireland, where their base of operation was set, they also attacked Europe, attacked Europe and England as seen in, in this map. The bombings occasioned by the IRA were dreadful. On September 10th, 1973, the Provisional IRA set off bombs in London's King Cross Station and Easton Station, injuring 21 people. In 1984, June 17th, they planted a bomb which had exploded in the Houses of Parliament, causing excessive damage and injuring 10 people. On August 8th, 1975, they detonated a bomb in the cathedral. In, and on August 8th, 1975, they detonated a bomb in Caterham Arms Pub in Surrey, 400 yards from the army barracks in Caterham. There are 25 injured and eight seriously injured. As a consequence of these major acts, the Irish government decided to set a peace treaty with the terrorist organization. This is very unique about the IRA. They are one of the only terrorist organizations that has come to a conclusion with their government. In April 1998, the government and the PIRA agreed on the Belfast, Belfast Agreement. This agreement was about power sharing policy that consisted in Northern Ireland should continue being a part of the United Kingdom while most of the population desired to. The agreement put an end to the PRA's military action. The provisional IRA destroyed most of its weaponry, but kept a small part in case of the, the agreement was revoked. Finally, on July 28, 2005, the organization announced that they had ended their armed campaign and they would follow peaceful ways of achieving their goals. To learn more about the IRA and other terrorist groups, click on the link below and subscribe for more. Thank you. What? What? Oh my gosh, seriously? <sighs> Thank you. She's not like butting in, dude. Like, what the heck? You leave me alone. <laughs>